Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to load your Chevy Corvette on a U-Haul car hauler. Now, keep in mind, your Corvette might differ than the one used in this video. But let's go ahead and get started by prepping our car hauler and our truck. First, make sure that the towing vehicle is in park with the parking brake set. Double check the trailer's wiring harness, coupler, and safety chains to make sure that they are securely attached to the towing vehicle. Now at the front of the trailer, let's go ahead and lay out our wheel straps. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side. Release the front security chains from the D-ring for ease of access later. Next, lower the driver's side fender. Release the two latches, one located in the front, the other located at the rear. Now, rotate the fender down. Now, prepare the loading ramps by releasing the latches that are holding the ramps in place and pulling the ramps completely out. Then repeat on the other side. Release the rear security chain from the D-ring for ease of access later. Since your vehicle has low clearance, you can raise the vehicle's clearance by laying three 12 inch long two by eight boards on the ground in a pyramid. Next, place two additional boards in the bucket to clear the tire stops and then repeat on the other side. In addition to the two by eights that we've put on our trailer, we're gonna go ahead and utilize the jack that's on the car hauler. While it's hooked up to the truck, we're gonna go ahead and jack the trailer up a little bit. Center the vehicle to be loaded behind the car carrier. While loading the vehicle, drive slowly and have an observer make sure that the front of the vehicle does not hit the ramps. During the loading process, make sure your guide stands off to the side. Continue slowly up the ramps and onto the trailer until the vehicle's tires come to rest against the stops at the front of the trailer. Before exiting the vehicle, be sure to place the vehicle in park and engage the parking brake. Now that the driver has his parking brake set, he can go ahead and get out of the car. Position the straps up and over the front tires, making sure that they are centered over the tire. Move each strap ratchet left or right to align it with the center of the tire. Route the strap through the slot on the ratchet spool, making sure at least six inches of strap passes through the spool. Tighten the ratchet, folding the handle down when done. Then repeat on the other side. All right, now that we have our tires secured, using our ratchet spools. Let's go ahead and raise the jack back up. Now keep in mind, you may not have needed the jack while you were loading your vet, but in this case we did. Finish securing the vehicle by fastening the security chains to the frame or other structural member. Leave some slack in the chain, looping them around and securing them through an open link through the S hooks. You will have to do this at the front and the back of the vehicle. Stow the ramps by lifting them and sliding them back until the latches re-engage and are correctly securing the ramps. Let's go ahead and put our wood inside of the trunk. We're gonna be needing that when we offload the vehicle when we get to our destination. Raise the driver's side fender and secure it with both latches. Recheck the tire straps and all hookup connections after the first five miles, again after 50 miles, and thereafter at all stops during your travels. For more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul store or uhaul.com.